Hi. In order to bring this rocket boiler stove build to some kind of completion, I wanted to run through some numbers and tests to calculate how many BTUs this rocket boiler stove was actually putting out. Before I had done some tests with the temperatures of the inlet and outlet water temperatures, but never calculated what the BTU output is. Now 30 years ago, Installing ground source heat pumps was part of the work that I did. And I would install ground loops and when I had the heat pump up and running, I would calculate how many BTUs I was pulling from the ground. This insulation guidebook is what I used to calculate that. It's got the formulas and stuff I needed so I could calculate that. Let's see if you can see that. This is the formula that I used for calculating the BTUs per hour that I was pulling out of the ground after I had installed the ground source heat pump, where Q is the flow rate in gallons per minute, DT is the difference in temperature between the inlet and outlet, and K is a flow constant. In this case, the flow constant for water is 500. Now this uh, formula will work the same for this rocket boiler stove. So I'll have to calculate the flow rate in gallons per minute that the pump is doing, the difference in temperature. I already checked that a little bit and I'll do that some more. And that'll be multiplied by 500 for the flow constant of water. So I'll have the gallons per minute multiplied by the difference in temperature multiplied by 500 for the flow constant for water. And then I'll be able to figure out how many BTUs per hour this rocket boiler stove is doing. In order to calculate how many gallons per minute this pump is putting out, I'm going to take this one gallon jug, this one gallon vinegar jug, and I'm going to fill it with the return line. I'm just going to take that return line, stick it in the top here, and time how long it takes to fill this one gallon jug up. And then I can calculate how many gallons per minute that pump is putting out. Here we go. In about 52 seconds. Well, it's pretty consistent. It'll take some more temps of the input and output water temps. Uh, so we got 74 in the return line and
126 on the outgoing, 27, 28, still going up, stoked up the fire pretty good, so, mm, 75 on the return line, and we'll jump over here again, and 28, and 130, outgoing temp of the water, and Uh, 75, 76 on the return line. It will jump up to the outgoing again. And 131. Thirty three still going up. One thirty four. Now we're up to seventy eight. And the outgoing temp is 135, 36. We'll let it operate a little bit and come back and check it again. I'll check it again. Uh, we're up to 84 degrees on the return line. And the outgoing water temp Mm, 140, 142, 43. Uh, sticking around 43 right now. It's going up 144. In the return line, back in there, 85. 85. And... 144, 85 and 144, and 87, 87, and 44. It seems like we're just under that 60 degree temperature difference. I'll do one more round of checks. Okay, that's return line. About 92. 93, 92. And... Outgoing. 165. 66. 66. You know, 166, 167, 66, and 94, 93, 93, 94 there, and 66, 166, 167. Sixty-eight. And those readings 
are with the fire putting out these kind of temps 14, 1300 not quite as hot as I had that other day 1200, 13 I can open the door and take a look at it I put a little longer bolt on my handle there so it doesn't get hot now so that works a lot better and this, I did the same with this one here and that's the size of the fire you got going on in there and the wood that I use is just stuff like this some pine and I think this is some oak it's kind of got a dry rot but that's the type of wood I'm using This, this oak isn't the best. Pine, the pine is actually putting out a lot better heat. These tests I just did, they may seem kind of tedious, but you know they're really necessary if you want to compare this rocket boiler stove to other heaters instead of just saying, yeah, well, it works pretty darn good, but you know nobody knows what that means. You know, on the top end of these tests I just did, we're getting around 42,000 BTU. And that's pretty similar to like a 40 gallon gas hot water heater. So that gives some tangible numbers you can work with. You know, of course it depends on the fire too, and the type of wood. At the beginnings of the fire, it may only be putting out maybe 20,000 BTU. It could probably even put out more if I kept firing that uh, stove up to its limit. And I think if I even add a different pump where I get more gallons per minute out of it, I think that might bring up the performance too, but that it would be later when I have this permanently installed. One other thing I wanted to correct that I had said was about the amount of tubing that I put inside the boiler. I think I said there was oh, 80 some feet of tubing, one inch stainless steel corrugated tubing in there. Well there wasn't. I bought the tubing off of Amazon and it was supposed to have been a roll of 82 feet. I never paid attention when I put it in or I didn't measure it. I just, you know, just stuffed it inside the stove here. Then later, you know, I mentioned that I think maybe I'll spread those tubings out a little bit more, the coils out. So I took the coil out and I spread it out and I actually measured it then. And there's only like about 48 feet. And I even cut a few feet of it off now. Oh, the snow is falling off the greenhouse. We had snow the other day and it's just, it's melting and falling off right now. That's that noise you hear. But I had spread out that tubing so I get more space in between them. And I actually cut a little bit off. So right now in the boiler, there's about 42 feet of tubing. That's in case somebody's been following along closely and wants to replicate it. I just wanted to make that correction. So I hope you like watching these videos and please like and subscribe and share it with your friends.